Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter, and we're here at the Glossom Marine Railways. Uh, we're almost done with the copper work on the Beaver now, so uh, let's go take a look. Now John's going to bend this piece to fit the uh, bottom of the keel. Uh, he's measured it for the width, and uh, we're using this piece of oak and another block of wood here. And it's going to work like a brake, uh, which is uh, a machine for, uh, for bending metal. several pieces that we have to make up that aren't uh, just flat sheets that go on. Uh, there's pieces we have to fabricate that go over the stem, under the keel, and are going to go around the stern post and over the rudder. Uh, so there's quite a bit of uh, shaping and fabricating that we need to do as well. Rob is shaping another piece. This time it's for the, uh, the joint that goes between the keel and the garbage plank, which is the bottommost plank. Uh, so we have quite an angle there, and uh, Rob is forming that at this point. And again, it's done the same way as we did before. <clears throat> this is our uh, method of pre-punching the sheet. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, the holes are pre-drilled, so the nails will go in. Uh, we used about uh, 22,000 nails uh, per ship, and there are about 400 sheets of copper that uh, go on each ship. And uh, as you can see, we're almost done here. As we get close to the end here, we see we have a special problem. Is that where the boat is sitting on the blocking, it's hard to get the copper underneath it. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we may try to do this. Uh, one is to cut this block off here and then have to split it out piece by piece uh, until we can get this uh, two inches out of there and then we can get the copper under it. And then, of course, we have to re-block after that. Uh, there's quite a bit of weight on the vessel and the vessel tends to settle on these blocks uh, during the time that it's sitting on the railways. Uh, so this might be a rather difficult process to go through, but we're going to give it a try. Uh, one thing we've been able to do uh, since the vessel's been up on the railways is we've actually changed the water line. Uh, we adjusted how this vessel is going to sit when she goes back in the water. Uh, by changing the ballast, we can bring her down a little bit more in the bow, which was one of the problems that we had before, that she needed to have a little different trim in the water to be more authentic. As we're finishing up on the copper, we're already starting on the next phase of this project, uh, which will be building the bulwarks. The bulwarks is that we're going to extend the hull up to about this high here, and this will all be filled in. It'll be seven-inch planks that will go the length of this. Uh, these are called stanchions. Uh, these were built previously, and they're in position. And first thing we have to do is to cut pine wedges that are going to fit in here and those will be driven down tight and then painted over. And that's the system for keeping it tight around the stanchions. <clears throat> After we finish that, the sides of these will have to be fared off. And uh, we're going to start planking this area here up to about uh, three feet high. Well, here's the next phase of the project. We're going to be continuing the bulwarks. The bulwarks are going to continue all the way around to the bow of the boat and uh, back here to uh, where the captain's cabin is. And uh, check in with us next week, and uh, we've got a lot more going on here.